Support for Radio Friends comes from IT Como, offering computer and IT services for small businesses and residential clients. IT Como can set up remote work at home solutions and data security and backup systems and upgrade your company email to more modern platforms. IT Como can also help you get the most from your technology at home. Learn more at itcomo.com. Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends on Friday, March the 24th. Pleasure to have you with us today. We have a guest that's making his first appearance with us, Ted Rogers. And Ted is Ragtag Cinema Film Programmer. And I was having a, a good time chatting with you before we came on about the different aspects of running films. But what is a, a film, a cinema film programmer do at Ragtag? So, uh, well, before I dive into that, I do want to say uh, I've been a longtime listener. I've been in Columbia now for close to eight years, and huh. it has been one of my uh, Columbia bucket lists to be on the show. So, oh, I, good. I cannot tell you how excited <laughs> I am to be here, Paul. You are good. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm you're glad a living you're... legend. I'm glad you're with us today, and you've yes, got a great absolutely. radio voice, oh, too. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, so I am the cinema programmer at Ragtag Cinema. Um, that makes me, uh, I'm in charge of uh, curating the full film program, uh, and that constitutes both uh, new releases, uh, first-run films that'll run you know, Friday through Thursday and then hold over as long as they're uh, successful with audiences, um, newer films, newest films, um, as well as very, very old films, very, very weird films, lost films, ephemera, weird, wonderful, beautiful, uh, bold, strange. Right. Uh, that is, that's, that's sort of our cup of tea. That's the thing when that I really think, makes when us I think ragtag. Of ragtag, I think of the unusual film that yes, you have. Yes, absolutely. But you also have first-run films. Now, mm -hmm. how did you end up getting Downton Abbey? Right. So uh, as a film programmer... Um, you know, there is the fun curator uh, role, and then there is the film booker buyer. Uh, and uh, we have an audience, we command an audience, uh, we command numbers um, that uh, compete with other cinemas in the market. Um, even though we're very small, we only have two screens, we don't really have a parking lot, we, uh, we're a funky little spot. Um, uh, but we do have contracts with a lot of major film distributors and we show films again Friday through Thursday just like anybody else and we we book those films and hold them based on our uh, on our sales now aren't you one of the last movie houses are they called movie houses sure yeah. let's call it a movie house. that <laughs> still run 35 millimeter film yes that's precisely right so and you know and you can tell the difference between watching 35 millimeter film or watching what now all of the films, movies are digitized, aren't yes. they? Yes. So uh, around uh, 2008 was the sort of hard line in the sand that most of the theaters switched over to digital completely. It's easier to ship. It's easier to store things on hard drives. You don't need a skilled technician to run. Uh, well, that's, sorry. I take offense to that personally. I don't know why I said it because I am one of those technicians that runs digital films, but you don't need as skilled a technician to run uh, digital cinema. Uh, 35 millimeter, however, you need a dedicated projectionist who's highly skilled, who's handling valuable materials. And with the 35 millimeter projection, you actually have the film there. Yes, absolutely. And so you we're also shipping, there. you know, it's the difference between shipping uh, you know, whatever, a 10 pound hard drive and a 70 pound film print coming in crates. Right. Um, but there's a difference. And I'll tell you, I didn't realize that there was that big of a difference until several years ago. I am a, a Sound of Music fan. <laughs> I think I've seen the movie at least 100, 150 times. And it was running, I think it was at the Forum Theater uh, four or five years ago. They had a special presentation of it. So I went I had to go see that. When I was watching it, there was a difference. I hadn't seen it in the theater for many years. And the picture was not as crisp or clear as I remembered. Is that because they were running it on digital and not the film? Yeah. So, I mean, look, there's a difference between uh, clarity and sharpness, let's say. So with a digital restoration, yes, we're going to get really sharp 
images. We're going to get these sharp lines and colors are going to be recreated and it's going to be stable and it's good enough for a lot of people. The fact that people can't notice a difference between film and digital, I think is, is a big misconception because older audiences um, will remember a certain film the way that they experienced right. it, the way that it touched them. And exactly. it's going to be that really warm set of colors. It's going to be that really, really rich, pure black because mm -hmm. digital projection can't even pull off pure black. We just have like a very dark gray. And that sounds like a really small issue, but it, it's it's astounding so to the sit difference. in a theater when you actually see black on the screen in the theater. It's alarming. It feels like something's wrong. And then you hear that tick, 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 as the projector fires up and you see the images flash and stutter and you see that flicker coming over your eyes and for a second you're distracted because it's a phenomenon you haven't seen in a while. And then it gives way to just this hypnotizing, wonderful, warm image uh, that in a lot of times these colors cannot be recreated by digital. Uh, and so for, again, for older audiences, it's it's not just nostalgic, it's a return to what it had been for most of their lives. You, and then for younger audiences, it's completely different. Do you There's ever no see, other way to see do, it. Do, do you see that it will ever come back that movie theaters will go back to running 35 millimeter or not? I don't think the majority will. I think that it is too expensive to hire technicians. I think that most of these places want to be turnkey. I think they want to run an operation where they can have stuff automated and set it and forget it and just run it on a schedule. Uh, but places like Ragtag, there's about mm, maybe about 36, 37, I think that's the number right now, of uh, movie houses that are running film on film on a regular basis. And 75% of those are in New York City and then uh, Southern California. So okay. we're so part we're, of that 25% that yeah, still does this. We're fortunate to have Ragtag Cinema here that you still can see a movie on film. But you do run digital also. Of course, yeah. We run digital 90% of the time. Um, but when we do run film, that's when we're selling out. That's when we're packing a house. That's when we have people traveling okay. to come see a film the way that the director intended it to be to be shown, uh, to see this art object. I mean, if you think about it, I can open up a book, I can pull up my phone, and I can search for an image of, I don't know, Starry Night, right? I can pull up an image of the Mona Lisa. I've yeah. seen the Mona Lisa, right. I've done it, I've seen it. But people still travel to go, to see, go see the painting, in and they want to see how it's aged, they want to have the phenomenon of being in the same room as it, they want the real deal I and a reproduction isn't the are. same thing you are so passionate about it we're out of time oh but I, yeah we're out of time <laughs> but i want to put in my request bring the sound of music if an, if there is an archive with a copy that is that that they are willing to send to us i i would 35 love millimeter. to do it i would love okay. to do it it All is right. what makes us special that's my that's my request to you and, and yes ragtag cinema is very special this is really great talking to you. Absolutely. I learned a lot today. Good. All right. Thank you so much, <laughs> That's all Ted I can Rogers, hope for. for coming by. It's our pleasure. Something you'd like to hear or see, just drop me an email, pepperp at missouri.edu. And when you go out and about today, be nice to each other and smile.